Officers, order. Arms. Lord, we thank you for those who go where most fear to go and who have taken an oath to protect us. We thank you for the privilege of living in a nation that's governed by the rule of law. For that reason and for many more reasons, I pray for all persons involved in law enforcement. My message today is a very simple but a very clear one. Thank you. This event is exclusively for you and your families. We can't tell you enough. Thank you. More importantly, as a father of two young children, I say thank you. We know evil is present. We see it on the news. We read it in the papers. For most of us, we see it each and every day in law enforcement. However, I know that my children are being raised in a county where law enforcement is truly second to none. I know that I'm raising my children in a county where law enforcement truly has a sense of not only purpose, but pride. I was about 20, 20 years old when someone showed me how to make meth, and my life became a downward spiral. Out of control, I was reckless, I was hateful, I was angry, I was bitter. I hated everyone, but most of all, most importantly, I hated myself. You see, I got arrested in 2000, 2008 for the first time for manufacturing meth. And when I got out of prison in 2010, I wanted with all my heart to not have the desire to do meth. But I still had it, and I fought it, and I failed. Uh, I, I started using it again, only this time snorting and smoking it wasn't enough, so I started using a needle. And uh, my life just crashed. I was at the end of my rope. I didn't want to live anymore. I didn't want to go on anymore. I had a daughter that never seen her father. My mother worried herself sick about me all the time. And I knew it. You see, everything I'd become is everything I swore I'd never be. I was a needle junkie. I was a meth cook. I was an absentee father. I was hateful. I was bitter. So I decided that I wasn't going to live anymore. I'd been using heroin a little bit, and I decided that I was going to kill myself, and I was going to put enough heroin in my body to make it look like an accidental overdose, so so my mom wouldn't wouldn't know it was a suicide. And it's true that the Lord works in mysterious ways, because it was the following morning when I got a knock on the door, and when I opened the door, it was Steve Coleman smiling at me. And I did not see the blessing then, but I see it now. I got here to this jail, and I hated authority. I hated everyone. I hated myself. But thank God for Rod Seeley for opening the doors to the jailhouse ministry here. I was convinced by a couple inmates to go to, go to church, and uh, the conviction was so strong on me. And I started listening to what Gary Decker had to say. And it, was, it didn't take long, and I broke down, and I couldn't take it anymore. I knew there had to be something better. I just never knew what I was looking for all my life. And I broke down, and I gave my life to Christ. That was a year ago on Easter Sunday. And my life, my life has not been the same since. Now, a year ago, I was a meth cook. I was a needle junkie. Now I get to come back in with the ministers to witness to some people in here in this jail. And it's all because of the doors being open to the ministry in this jail. Otto's right. I believe that is going to be Sheriff Seeley's legacy. Is that he flung the doors wide open for the ministry. And it's impacted my life so much. And I just want to thank all you officers because he was right also. Not only do you save the innocent, sometimes you, you help the not so innocent. And I thank you. God bless you. survivors, the officers that have been lost in the line of duty, y'all, they have paid the ultimate price, but so have you. I've received that knock at the door at 5 o'clock in the morning. You see, my father passed away in the line of duty back in 1981. Today, during this National Police Week, 
I invite you to consider, for those of you who aren't law enforcement officers or even in the law enforcement community, last time you encountered a police officer. Perhaps you were awarded a speeding ticket or involved in a fender bender, or maybe you experienced uh, an emergency at home or at business. How did you respond? In all cases, I think we should be grateful. Grateful that we still have a nation of laws. Grateful that we have professionals in our communities who every day dutifully and impartially execute and enforce those laws. Present arms. Ah.